Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. It's going to be all about the 10 basic pieces that you need in your wardrobe for spring. So I guess kind of your spring fashion essentials. The video is part of the Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit, which is going on on my YouTube channel this week. It's a whole series of videos all celebrating the arrival of spring, my favorite season. I've done this spring edit for the past two years now, just to really inject loads of spring content to my YouTube channel we have got things like haul videos, we've got spring trend videos, spring beauty routines, all of that kind of fun stuff. So if you like the sound of that and you love fashion videos and styling videos, then I'd love to have you back. So please hit the subscribe button just down below and also turn the little notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. The videos that I have published already in the 2018 spring edit, I'll leave linked down below. And then as and when the next ones go up, I will also leave them down below so you can see all the videos as part of the Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit in the description box. And I'll also leave links to everything that I talk about in today's video down there as well. So just click show more for all the information you will need. So these pieces that I'm going to be discussing are the pieces that you will find yourself reaching for day after day after day. They are the pieces that will make your spring wardrobe just slot together really, really nicely. I think that if you have these 10 basics in your wardrobe, you'll find that it'll be so much easier to put outfits together. They're pieces that work with so many different things. They're instant outfits and they just make your whole wardrobe just suddenly click together. I honestly would say that it's so worth investing in these pieces because they are the garments you'll wear time and time again. So getting that price per wear right down. So unsurprisingly, quite a few of these pieces are from, I'd say the premium end of the high street. So not quite top shop level, not quite like designer level, just somewhere in the middle. There are a few designer pieces in here as well, but then I'm also going to be recommending high street alternatives too. So hopefully no matter what your budget, it, I have got some spring wardrobe essentials that will work for you. So I'm going to kick things off with a white blouse. Now white blouse obviously is a very easy to style piece whether you are wearing it for work or whether it's for a smarter occasion a white blouse can be styled in so many different ways and I've got a few favorites here. I actually wanted to share with you this particular one from Reese. Now I mentioned in um, a previous video which was called what's new in my wardrobe I mentioned that with my investment pieces I reach for them year after year after year and then I said perhaps I would look through my existing wardrobe and see which investment pieces from previous years I'm still wearing just to kind of prove that I do rewear things year after year especially when you're spending say 80 to 100 pounds on an investment piece like a silk top and then when I was showing you how I switch my wardrobe up for spring I was really evaluating those pieces and this for example is something that I purchased from Reese two or three years ago and I still wear very very regularly and it is most definitely a spring wardrobe stay so this is, you just saw the back view, this is a button-down blouse, very very plain white top. Doesn't really have any design detail but it's just so beautifully made, beautifully crafted. The fabric cut is just absolute perfection and the quality of the material is really beautiful as well. So it is the kind of piece that has stood the test of time in my wardrobe. A white blouse that I've picked up on the high street this year is this one from French Connection. This has got a beautiful bow detail on the neckline and then it's got a little bit of detailing on the sleeves which just add a little bit of interest to an otherwise plain blouse. It's got this kind of, I, I would say this is quite self-portrait vibes, the way that it's got the detail on the sleeves. You've got frills, you've got some applique, you've got some kind of polka dot material, but this is a very, very versatile piece. And as I mentioned, so many outfits can be completed with a white blouse. If you want something a little bit more simple, then once again, Reese have got a fabulous option. This one is just basically a plain white silky t-shirt, but it's got little tiny pearls on the hems of the t-shirt, which just add a lovely bit of interest to an otherwise quite plain top. If you have a really relaxed style, so you want to wear like a white t-shirt with jeans, then this is a great way of upgrading that kind of look. Or alternatively, you could wear this with some of my other spring basics, such as midi skirts, suede skirts, corduroy skirts, high-waisted trousers. So many things can be paired with a plain white t-shirt. So speaking of which, my next spring basic is a midi skirt. Now this, I would say, is not necessarily applicable to everybody. 
I think that if you have a very similar style to me, then you will find a midi skirt to be a real essential piece in your spring wardrobe. Hopefully if you're here on my YouTube channel, then you probably have quite a similar style to me. And I would definitely say that a midi skirt is an essential part of my spring wardrobe. I think that they work for so many different occasions, whether that's a day at the office, a christening, a special event, a garden party. And also they work really well when you're not too sure what the dress code is because they work for casual occasions and really smart occasions. And there are so many ways to style them. On chillier days, and this is probably my favorite one right now, this is the beautiful one from Reese, gorgeous knife pleat beautiful soft overlay and then you've got a, um, a lining underneath beautiful pink movie almost gray color so so practical goes with everything in my wardrobe looks fantastic paired down with a gray knit or once again with my first basic a white tee just such a beautiful very very classic look I am more than happy to invest in a midi skirt from Reese because I do know that it's the kind of thing that I reach for at least twice or three times a week but perhaps if you've not tried the midi skirt style before you might want to look to more affordable retailers. I know that H&M actually have some really gorgeous options at the moment, some that are not too dissimilar to this, so I'll try to leave some affordable ones linked down below as well. When it comes to accessorizing in spring, I honestly think there is nothing better than a crossbody bag. This one from Topshop I've been speaking about so, so much. It is so on trend with its circular design and it fits so much stuff inside. Best part though is that it was only 28 pounds, but it really is such an instant way to uplift your wardrobe. It really makes such a huge statement. Whenever I post about it on my Instagram, everyone's just like, oh my God, the bag is so cool. So it really is a statement piece. Because crossbody bags do make such a statement and they're always a part of your outfit that people spot quite early on, I think if it's within your budget, it is nice to invest in a crossbody bag. Some which have a slightly higher price point that I wanted to share with you include this one from Reese. I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites at the moment. The color is just absolutely divine. It's a perfect shape. It's almost got kind of Chloe Drew vibes, but it was a fraction of the price of Chloe handbags, but it is a premium high street piece. So more expensive than the top shop, but you can tell the leather this is made from is absolutely beautiful. The detailing, the metal, the stitching, all of it is just such great craftsmanship. And then inside, very, very spacious. You've got a dust bag and then just a little envelope pocket in there too. For me, as soon as I put this on over my coat, I just feel like the the whole outfit is totally transformed and it's such an eye-catching way to finish off my outfit. And then if you're looking for a true investment piece, of course a designer crossbody bag is a fabulous way of finishing the look. This is one that I've been reaching for a lot lately and it is my YSL sunset bag. This one's got a really fabulous leather bit here so that when it is worn crossbody it doesn't dig in to your skin. Great if you're wearing any bardeau tops, you don't want the chain digging into your skin so it's great that they've thought about that. This one in particular, and I did do a video all about investing YSL wisely in designer bags is a really great investment piece if you do cherish your designer bags and want them to last a long time because this faux kind of alligator leather is a really long lasting and durable leather so it's going to look its best for a very very long time. Now I'd say that for most people a pair of jeans is a real basic core piece in your wardrobe but for spring I would suggest a pair of pastel coloured jeans. These are the straight moto jeans from Topshop. I find Topshop denim is just a real go-to. You can't really go wrong. The price points of Topshop denim are absolutely amazing. Amazing, and yet the quality never lets me down. These were £40. They have got plenty of stretch in them which makes them super comfortable and then they've also got a raw hem at the bottom which I think is a really nice style detail. Because of the colour of these they're very on trend for spring. Pastels is of course a huge spring trend. If you want to know more about spring trends I did a whole video on my top eight trends for spring and how to wear them and also a few key pieces. So I'll leave that linked on the screen and down below. But for those days when you just want to be a little bit more casual, a pair of pastel jeans is an absolute must in your spring wardrobe. Something that works with so many spring outfits, whether it's a casual outfit such as a pair of jeans or something a bit smarter such as your midi skirt is a pair of white boots. Now, when I first got these, I bought them as a bit of an experiment. I was like, ooh, haven't had anything like that in my wardrobe before. But now I have them, I don't know how I lived without them. I have worn them with so many different outfits, especially the jeans mentioned and the skirt mentioned. They're a fabulous way of completing the look 
especially when the temperatures aren't quite warm enough for sandals. You're not quite ready to say goodbye to closed toe shoes, but you want something a little bit lighter than your trusty winter black ankle boots. This is a really nice way of transitioning the wardrobe from winter to spring. You still get the warmth of a closed toe boot, but the lighter color just makes it so much more appropriate for a spring color palette. These ones are from Dune, and I think they're like Dune black label, so a little bit more premium. However, I think that it's Kurt Geiger have a pair very, very similar for a fraction of the price, I think about half the price. So I'll leave the dupes of the Dune shoes down below as well. Another spring basic that I find myself reaching for year after year is a lightweight knit. This, to this day, is still my absolute favorite. It's from Club Monaco. You guys probably would have first seen this in my first romantic lookbook, which I published over a year ago, and I still just absolutely adore it. It's probably one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, and it's one of the pieces that I really feel sums up my personal style with the color, the ruffles on the sleeves, it's just divine. And because it was from Club Monaco, which is obviously a bit more of a premium high street retailer, it's just stood the test of time. It's such a fabulous quality piece. So investing in a lightweight knit is something I would definitely recommend for spring. As I mentioned, sadly that piece is not available to buy anymore, but something that is available on the high street that I love almost as much is this jumper from Reese. This is a really beautiful, very, very lightweight pink knitted jumper. Because it is so lightweight, it works with so many outfits. Personally, I think it also looks great tucked into a midi skirt when the temperatures are just a little bit cooler, you're not quite ready to wear your silk t-shirt yet. But then equally with smart trousers, you can layer this with a lovely blouse underneath so the collar peeps through. So many different ways of styling this and I would say a lightweight knit is definitely the kind of piece that you'll find yourself reaching for many a times in your spring wardrobe. So certainly one that's worth investing in. My next spring essential is a pair of mules. I think that mules, they really started to come into fashion probably this time last year and they're just so easy to wear, so practical, so comfortable that we are not ready to say goodbye to that trend at all. So I have two pairs that I wanted to really highlight in today's video. This first pair is actually my second pair of gold Nicholas Kirkwood flats. I had this exact same pair of shoes last year, wore them to death. They were most definitely the most worn shoes in my wardrobe of 2017. And then finally they died a bit of a death at the end of last year when my puppy Dickens decided to chew them. But because I wore them so much and for designer shoes they're under 500 pounds so not like ridiculous, still expensive but not, you know, some shoes are a lot more expensive than that. I thought the price per wear of them was just absolutely wonderful and they really did elevate every outfit that I wore them with. So I decided to invest in a brand new pair. I now have this spanking new pair which I'm very much looking forward to wearing. But I also have this fabulous pair from the high street which I'm totally smitten with. These are from Topshop. The pink colour is just absolutely perfect. They've got this little spherical gold heel which is absolutely adorable and I love any kind of metallic detail on shoes. I think it's such a gorgeous way to finish something off. They certainly look a lot more expensive than their high street price tag. These were £62, so not mega mega cheap, but I think for Topshop shoes, you really do know that you're getting very good quality shoes and a very on-trend piece as well. So super excited to wear these, and I would definitely say that a pair of mules is an essential in your spring wardrobe that you will wear time and time again. My next spring essential is the investment or statement coat. Now this kind of depends on where you live, but here in the UK, spring can still be a little bit chilly, so we still have to wear some outerwear. I have two coats here that I wanted to highlight. Both are from Reese. There's a bit of a trend going on for Reese pieces here, but they really are so beautifully made. I think they stand the test of time and they're just so my style. Both of these you'll have seen me wearing so much over on my Instagram and in my vlogs and everywhere, basically. This is the pink one. I wear it like a cape sometimes or sometimes tie it in at the waist. I'll insert a few photos on the screen now of different ways that I've styled it. But this is just such a beautiful, beautifully made, well-crafted, gorgeous coat that it instantly makes my outfit look so chic, very professional, very polished, very expensive. And then this one is a little bit more statement. I was umming and ahhing a bit about buying this one, but it, again, instantly lifts an outfit so much, makes you look so on trend, makes you look like you really know what you're doing, you feel fabulous when you're wearing it because it's such a statement. So I'd say that a statement or an investment coat like this is a really great thing to invest in in your spring wardrobe. Your outerwear and your bag are what people see within your outfits, so it is worth investing a little bit more in those pieces. As well as mules, I would say that sandals are a really good 
really basic to have in your spring wardrobe. When those temperatures do start to rise, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get my feet into sandals. And at this time of year, we start to think about our summer holidays, potentially picking up a few pieces for upcoming trips. So it's nice to find a perfect pair of sandals. They also work with so many outfit combinations, whether that's a midi skirt, a little summery dress, or trousers, jeans. And I have found this most amazing pair of sandals. No, they are not Valentino, although I have actually ordered the Valentino version because I love them so much. These were a fraction of that price and they are from Misguided. I think that chunky block heels like this on a pair of sandals just really lifts the look. If you are petite like I am, then you will be very grateful for a chunky heel. And yet because it is such a thick, sturdy heel, it means they're super comfortable to wear. All of these straps as well means your foot is not slipping and sliding around, so you will be comfortable all day long. But shoes like this really do have the look of a designer shoe, but without that price tag. If sandals like this are not your thing, then perhaps a pair of low strappy sandals. Stores like Accessorize, Next, they always have some really beautiful sandal designs. And thinking long term, having some gorgeous sandals in your wardrobe will mean that you're ready for summer when those temperatures do start to rise. My final spring basic and something that I reach for many many times a week is a pair of smart trousers. Now I have a very very feminine style so I'm often wearing skirts and dresses and things like that but when I want to look a little bit more smart or when I just don't want to wear a skirt smart trousers are something that I reach for all the time. This is probably my favourite garment within this category. They are my blush coloured Reese trousers. These are super super stretchy. They are almost kind of legging material because they are so stretchy. I think this colour is very very flattering, incredibly comfortable to wear and once again you'll be so surprised with how many things these go with. If you've got white coloured boots, if you've got a white blouse, there is your outfit absolutely sorted. And because of how simple they are, they are a real classic and basic piece in your spring wardrobe. However, if you wanted to go for something a little bit more on trend, I also have this pair of trousers from River Island, which you've probably seen me styling in other videos with this lovely ruffle and pearl detail. These are almost like a thicker tweed style material, so they do look very, very smart. And once again, the kind of piece that can really be dressed up or dressed down, a very versatile thing to have in your wardrobe. Those ones I would say are kind of legging-like or cigarette style trousers, but another style of trousers which is very, very smart and very versatile is wide leg palazzo trousers. This is a pair from Coast, and once again, a basic piece in your wardrobe because it works for so many different occasions. If you can wear something like this for work, then they're a very, very smart trouser. You can wear them with sandals, with boots, loads of different types of footwear. If you want to make them a little bit more casual, then reach for your lightweight knit. Or if you want to smarten the look, you could go with a silky camisole or an embellished top. There are just so many ways of styling a smart pair of trousers. So those are my top 10 basics or essentials to have in your spring wardrobe. Everyone's style is different, so I would love to know down in the comments section below what you would consider an essential part of your spring wardrobe. I'd absolutely love to know what pieces you consider a basic, something that you reach for all the time. Let me know your favorites down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for lots more style content, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.